Hey guys, my name is Corey Mayo with Ocean's Atlantic Sotheby's and I'm here today to do an update video on Stonewater Creek. We'll do a drive-through tour to where I virtually put you in the passenger seat of my car as we drive through so you can see what the community looks like all from the comfort of your own home. So the last time I did this video, it was uh, in winter time, so everything wasn't in bloom and it wasn't all green and lush. So I figured let's do an update, vi update video to see what everything looks like now. So let's set off and take a look. All right, so Stonewater Creek is located right on Long Neck Road or Route 5. Uh, we're gonna turn into it right now, uh, as we notice. Uh, beautiful monuments on either side and then water features on the other side as well. Uh, in the middle some beautiful landscaping with crepe myrtles. Uh, the community does have uh, a clubhouse with a fitness center and a pool. Uh, it is a, a bit on the, the bigger side. Uh, the good thing is that in most cases you don't obviously don't have everyone here all at once so every time I have been by um, it's never packed or there aren't a lot of people in there so it's very comfortable size for the community also has uh, let me see two tennis courts here as well uh, this community started I believe back around 2004 or 5 ish somewhere around there uh, and there are multiple phases to the community uh, the main builders that were here Ryan homes built here at one point K hub nanny built here at another point and then uh, Insight Homes uh, built towards the end and finished out the most recent uh, the most recent phase. Now there's a new phase that's being developed, uh, which I guess would be on the north side of the community, uh, which is going to be built by DR Horton. So that is going to be a little more of a price point uh, section, um, but still beautiful, will fit in with everything that's going on. Uh, now, I'm not going to go down every single road, but I want to give you an idea on what some of the homes that were built on the earlier stages of the community compared to the most recent homes that were built here. Uh, and then we will take a drive by the, the section that's being, that's under development right now. This community, uh, because of its age, typically a lot of communities back in the 2004s and 5s, they were not curbed and sidewalk. So they utilize swales. You'll notice the kind of the, the ditch that goes down in the front yard and then the tubes that go underneath the driveway. That's how they control the stormwater for when we have heavy rain. Uh, the water, the roads have a crown, the water runs off into the swales. The swales go and direct the water to the water retention ponds. So uh, it is not a curved and sidewalked, but it's still good sized roads. Uh, one of the good things about having living in an older community is that you have mailboxes at your house so a lot of the newer ones uh, USPS actually is the ones who regulate and set up whether a community is going to be a cluster box or individual mailboxes and a lot of the newer communities uh, are having cluster boxes because uh, there's so much going on here and they I guess they don't have enough employment so it's easier they come in they go to one location, drop off everyone's mail, and go home. They don't have to drive around from house to house. So it's nice uh, in a community of this age to where uh, a lot of the homes have individual mailboxes. Now we're coming into the, the newer section. There are two parts of this newer section. One was called the woods and one's called the reserve. The woods is going to be the second to the oldest and the reserve is going to be the, um, the most recent phase that uh, is built out. And then obviously that's not talking about the one that is under development right now. So the majority of these homes here uh, were built by Insight Homes. And then when we cross over into the reserve, all of the homes there will be built by Insight Homes. Again, this is all sold out, but there, will, there are lots of options that are always coming up on the resale side of things. So this is just giving an overall feel of the community as we go through multiple phases and you can get a feel for Hey, is this something we like or not? From a size-wise, for the community itself, uh, as well as for the types of homes and the home sites that are being offered here. Uh, there are people. I'm not sure if you saw back there. There's people. A lot of people have golf carts, so you can kind of drive around. Once you get here and get settled in, hop in your golf cart to go to the, the uh, clubhouse or down to the pool, or to go to friends' houses. 
it's nice. It adds kind of that beach vibe when you're cruising around on a golf cart as opposed to having to jump in your car just to drive a few streets over to your friend's house. Proximity, we are located, uh, as I said, in Millsboro on just off of Route 5. So we're about uh, 15 to 20 minutes from Route uh, from Route 1, where the, the shopping and the outlets and the dining and all of that is, and about 20 to 25 minutes to the Atlantic Ocean beaches. So right now we just uh, entered into the reserve portion of, the, of Stonewater Creek. So all of these homes have been built by Insight Homes. So we'll take a quick drive, do a lap. They have like a circle section, so we'll do a lap around here so you can get an idea of the homes that they built, sizes, and characteristics of their homes. Uh, Community-wide on the, on the newer side of things, or I'm sorry, on the older side of things, uh, age-wise, the communities were, or the, the builders were building homes in this community that were uh, a lot more two-story homes of a more traditional style. Uh, as time progressed and this area started to become bigger to a retirement um, environment, a lot more one-story homes, uh, ranch-style homes, or at least second two-story homes with the owner's suite on the first floor. Uh, that's great because obviously it gives you your first floor living. Typically that makes up you know, maybe 75% of the overall living environment anyway. And a second story, which is going to be a loft and maybe a couple bedrooms, that is going to be for when guests come, kids, grandkids, guests, whatever, they get to go up the stairs and, and hang out up there. So that's uh, a nice nice way on the newer side of homes, newer floor plans that are be off, being offered basically here in general, all around Sussex County, but especially on the, in the coastal area. Um, that's the tip, most all builders are offering that style of home and living. So there's a little more off to the right there, but it looks very similar to what we just saw here. So this is the again the reserve portion of um, of Stonewater Creek. We saw the, the clubhouse and the tennis courts and the pools, and we saw some of the other sections to where Brian and Kate of Nanian uh, built in here as, as well. Again, those are older, um, so majority of them are going to be larger two-story homes. Now we're going to go take a quick little peek over at the new section that Ron, or that Dr. Horton. Uh, is developing now okay so access to see the newer section is not from within the community so we're exiting the, the community right now on to route 5 we're gonna make a right and it's gonna be right there I'm assuming that they will have a, a cut through access at some point in time once it's done or they may just do a secondary entrance over here I'm not sure but if we look here, we can see off to the right, this is all land that's being cleared right now uh, by DR Horton. So this is gonna be a new phase that will be available. Uh, don't have any ideas yet on price points, don't have any ideas yet on the home offering, but at least it gives you an idea of, if you like this community, there will be some new, con new construction opportunities coming up in the near future. So that is uh, Stonewater Creek. We went over the main section, we went over the woods, we went over the reserves, and then whatever this new phase is gonna be called. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 302-466-5511. You can also email me at Corey, C-O-R-Y, at CoastalLifeDE, as in Delaware.com. Uh, again, my name is Corey Mayo, licensed realtor with Oceans Atlantic Sotheby's located here in coastal Delaware, and I specialize in coastal Delaware real estate, new construction, and client relocation. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, and I'll talk to you soon.